Good morning guys! So I literally just rolled out of bed and this morning I wanted to give you guys a quick update on my weigh-in and also wanted to do like a physique update since I kind of remember this time. I've been meaning to do this for a while. So without further ado, let's get on the scale. So I'm currently at 123. That's actually not my lowest low end. I think yesterday I kind of had a really late dinner because I was really um, I was running behind on schedule. So I finished my workout at like 12 a.m. and then I came home and then I had dinner at like 12:30 or something like that. So I think that might be why. But my lowest has been 121. But I'm um, honestly not phased. I think I know why I um why my it might have went up by one or two pounds by today from <coughs> Tuesday. Tuesday was my lowest, which was 121. So yeah, I'll just do better today. Um, eating my meals on time and getting my workout on time and staying hydrated. I mean, I feel pretty good. This might be TMI, but I am on my period and yesterday was my peak day. It should be ending by now. One thing I did want to talk about after this prep began, my period has been very long. It's been so much longer, but the thing is, flow has been way lighter and my cramp has been also very lighter. I usually have crazy cramps. I cannot live without like two sessions of Motrin but this time I only had to take one Motrin. The feeling of bloatedness was not really present post prep so no I'm not at that point where I like lost my period due to my prep and I'm glad I did not lose my period. <laughs> yeah so that's where I stand. Let's do some physique update for the first time. Now that we're done with all that business, I'm gonna go make myself some morning tea and I'm gonna do my fasted cardio for today. And I'll be back. I'll be Actually, before I went off, I did wanna add a little segment to every vlog on what I'm not only working on myself, like fitness wise, but I guess mental wise in a way so something that i've been working on and it's been kind of very effective and very i've been trying to be not be reactive towards other people and like my external surrounding but rather kind of have control over my own mood and my happiness i didn't realize this about myself but or if maybe this is something that i kind of like adopted over time but i kind of realized that i get affected by my surroundings very easily as in my mood or the way i feel or emotionally or whatever and it might be like a negative baggage that came along with a lot of negative factors that i previously had but because i don't remember myself being like that all the time i thought i had a pretty solid control over my mood or my happiness or my self emotionally and mentally but turns out i kind of didn't and i was kind of letting other people or other things or external factors that kind of happen in life that i have no control over to get to me and it was really yeah it was time for a change i've been trying to catch myself because i mean i still do it on the daily sometimes or occasionally and i think the first step that kind of worked really well for me is to be aware that i'm doing it so every time i am being affected or am yeah it, that i am get being negatively affected i try to catch myself and i try to switch my mindset around and it works really decently well just having an awareness that you are 
being like that helps a lot in my case i am the only one that who is in control over my mood and over my happiness although you can't control anything else that happens outside of you you can control how you react to it that's what i'm really focusing on to try to understand that concept and to accept it and to not have um not let anything have control over me and for myself to have a control over myself only so did that make sense <laughs> I just wanted to share a little self-development in every vlog, um, you know, just for myself to be a little open with you guys once again. And I think mental health is important just as much as physical health. So, and now we may go to get our facet cardio in. <laughs> you know how i know i have an issue i literally got this otter box yesterday and i cracked the damn otter box. Who does that? Only I do that. This is the Defender series and it's supposed to defend your phone. I guess that's what the name comes from, but no. So what I did was I um, was moving around the bench at the gym yesterday and I kind of squished my freaking phone off the bench in the process of moving it. So yeah. That's me. That's just the definition of Natalie. Destroys everything in her hands. got back and I quickly made some breakfast this looks rather large in proportion again this is like combination of two meals it's supposed to be two small meals um, separately but I combined them because I'm running out of time so it's seven ounces of egg whites one fourth avocado and some Ezekiel bread this is a raisin one and I have some oatmeal with blueberries and a tablespoon of peanut butter and now we're back with lunch i have some spinach some sweet potatoes and some turkey breast ground turkey breast with a little bit of mustard and pepper on top got some coffee because I'm about to go work out after this meal and I'm just gonna work on well I'm gonna finish editing this vlog first because it's been long overdue like way too long and also I have to finish this assessment stuff for my job application and I have to kind of set my life together for the next couple weeks coming up we're gonna get to work eat Work out and get ready for the jazz festival that I'm gonna go to. No 
As you guys saw, I just finished my Friday's workout and I gotta be honest, Friday's workout is not my favorite. It's actually my least favorite. Big reason has to be that I'm so exhausted by Friday, like I'm out of energy and Friday's the day when I start to feel my limit. Um, with my hunger and my workout and like my energy level and my mood so it gets really hard on Friday and on top of that Friday is like a full body circuit it's not lifting circuits are always so hard for me especially when you have low energy and a lot of the exercises that my coach puts me on are um, movements that I'm not comfortable with like burpees and push-ups and bench dips which like I'm still like since I have such a weak upper body those movement movements are the ones that I'm not used to doing and I don't feel confident in those co combination of movements being a circuit adds like extra stress on top of that so I'm literally mentally and physically pushing myself so hard during these Friday exercises and not gonna lie I low-key get really stressed before going into the gym like dreading about it but it always feels great to push myself through although like it's still all my movements are still not perfect and I still feel shitty about them but it's okay as long as I'm making progress each Friday it's fine or each week it's fine and as long as I push through it and I like I'm not half-assing it half as assing 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 it i am content or not content or i am satisfied with that so just so glad i pushed myself through because i did especially today i don't know for some reason i was holding a lot of negative thoughts and it was really difficult for me to push through and really give it my all but um like filming myself during my first set really helped because I re-watched right after I did my first set and I was like oh my god like I could see that I was like half-assing it so bad so I was like no I'm not gonna let myself do this surprisingly this was the first time that I filmed during my workout and it was kind of like a test run with the circuit before I started filming like my lifting and whatnot so yeah but it surprisingly helps really helps me be accountable for my workout and not half-ass it and to kind of see my form and my movements of where I can do better and stuff so thing is I need to go I need to go to the gym with someone so they can like help me get in get myself into a better angle within the frame so yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that, you know, not every day is going to be perfect, but the important thing is you got to push through. Yeah, I'm just really glad that my workout's done for the week. Although tomorrow I have recovery cardio, but that's about it. Monday's my rest day, so really happy that I pushed through this week. I didn't miss a single day of workout. I've never missed a day of workout since during this prep so I'm really proud of myself and I'm just really glad and thankful that I pushed myself through and I have the energy left and the mental strength that has been given to me um, for me to push on so now it's time to enjoy the rest of the day I have exciting things planned ahead for the rest of the day um, I'm gonna take a shower, get ready, get dolled up, and meet up with my friends Raven and Natalie and go to this outdoors jazz festival in DC. And it's gonna be lots of fun. I'm not gonna drink because <laughs> obviously I'm gonna prep. It's because it's like a wine jazz festival, but even that's probably gonna have a wine. So I volunteered to DD, which is always nice because I like to 
it's always better to drive yourself than like uber if you're not drinking because you get to leave whenever you want and then yeah but like you get to set your own schedule so not to mention you save money so i'm gonna go get ready and i'll see you guys when i'm all cleaned up and nice and i'll be a different person <laughs> So, sad news, it started thundering like some mother effer, so we're not going to the Jazz Festival anymore. It's actually canceled because it's outdoor, so freaking put on my makeup and <laughs> change my outfit, but I'm going to show you guys my outfit anyways because I changed. But one second, I'm going to be extra. Um, so yeah, this is the current outfit. I have a little cute lacy pink rose, baby pink, baby rose pink lacy top. <laughs> and it has a really low back, so I really like that. And it's actually a bodysuit, which I love because I don't have to like pull it down every five seconds. And then I have these intense holy jeans from forever 21 the top was from charlotte russe these are from forever 21 these were literally last minute grab from last weekend because i needed something to wear so yeah and then that's it and it's rainy so i'm gonna take this with me and this is my lighting sucks Lighting sucks really bad, but this is my makeup. I just have pink um, eyeshadows. It was like a pink theme. And I also have mauve lip, as always, and some intense contour, as always, and <laughs> some blush. Yeah, it's like my typical go to. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I started growing a sty on this side, so my eyelids are all messed up. Well, now it kind of looks... Now I'm used to it, so I can't even tell anymore, but... Yeah, I have, like, a huge sty, so... My eyes are not even, but... That's it! Our girls' night out has been cancelled, so... I'm just gonna spend some time with my friend, and... Oh, shit. I don't know. We'll see how the night goes, but I'm not gonna take the camera with me, so... Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank God I remember this time to do a closing, so, or a closure, closing. Thank you guys for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Leave me any suggestions on what you guys want to see during this series, and comment me down below what... Hmm, comment me down below how you get through your workout, or... Um, when you're just having a rough day or something like that yeah so comment me down what helps you get through your workout when you're having a difficult time pushing yourself through mentally yeah okay now i can tell my eyelids like 50 shades of messed up <laughs> hope you guys have a great day or night and love you guys and i'll see you guys next time Mwah.